is our anniversary. We found out that, yes, Jake Anderson is now officially gonna be a father. Which is, it changes everything. I knew before you did that she was pregnant just because there's that small chance it might be mine. I've been wanting to talk to you about this, bro. I love you, but damn. I'm very happy for Jake and very proud. Maybe it will help change the young lad into a man. With deck boss Edgar Hansen on leave, Jake takes on more responsibility. He aspires to be as good as Edgar, or will run a boat like me. And Edgar, you know, he's always been that little safety net. And so uh, safety net's gone. So you got to step up. You guys ready? OK, we're going to go. OK, let's see what you did here, Sig. Western is officially in business. The weather has come down. I put us on crab. Now I gotta keep us on crab. I've seen this this bad before. Another boat has run over the Northwestern's pot, tangling the line so it can't fit through the block. This one was run over, caught up in his prop on one blade, and it started spinning, and then they drug it, and so it was pretty bad. It was, uh, I haven't seen one spun like that in a while. You can tie the chain in the crane and lift it up, Jake. Put an overhand in it, Matt. This time, the tangle went way down the line, so you have to pull up all that, you know, snarled line to get uh, down to where you can get to the single and get it through the block. To save the pot, the crew secures a chain below the tangle, allowing the crane to hold the pot in place. Just take the slack, Jake. Go ahead, Jake. I'm on that three. Good. That's not good. That's not good. The line slips down four feet, nearly losing the thousand-dollar pot to the Bering Sea. Damn. Ooh, that's even worse. Watch the boom. Oh. F Is it fucked up? Lack of experience. Before they can fix the boom, they'll have to get the tangled pot over the rail. He's got it. Saved the pot, broke the block. Boom's very important. That's how you get your gear on board. We're so focused on the one thing, but you got to look at what's around you when you're swinging a crane around. I had to go up fast so they could get the chain on there. Fortunately, I hit the boom. Edgar would have never hit the boom. Edgar would have never put the boom in jeopardy. The chain broke. You would have had to go up. Edgar would have looked up. <laughs> There's only two rules for running the crane of the hydraulics. Don't kill anybody and don't break anything. So I broke rule number two. 
sometimes Jake's ridiculous on himself. And he says, oh, I want to be the best one. Everybody makes mistakes. Who cares? I got to replace it. Without a working boom, the Northwestern can't fish. Okay. Boy, who's running the crane, Norman? Well, you do a great job. <laughs> Just take your time. Remember, you're no anchor. <laughs> anchor would be done. <laughs> 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 uh, he's going to go. This, I quit, I'm going to my bed. My job is to try to keep the boat from rolling while I have a human being 50 feet in the air. It's like a balancing act. Weather's been coming down here, luckily, so we can just keep it up against and try to keep the boat from rolling around so much. He's up there quite a ways. Good. Get these pots up. Jake Anderson, the worst deckhand ever. Oh my God, stop it. It's funny. I mean, he, he's really self conscious, you know? He does a great job. He should give himself more credit. He'll make a good captain when he gets a thicker skin. Sixty miles south on the 155-foot wizard. Grabbing the tank, money in the bank, trips over. We're headed in. I'm getting out of here, and uh, I hand this boat off to my brother. Before handing over the helm, I still got to deal with the Roger and Robbie thing. Captain Keith Colburn has some unfinished business. If you're going to tell the guy that employs you and signs your paychecks how to run his operation, uh, that's a bad sign. 